Hello everybody, it is your boy Get Off My Beard, and today guys I'm starting a new series on the channel in Unreal Engine 4. What we're going to be doing today guys is we're actually going to build a full level. Um, not a full level, um, let me rephrase that. I'm going to show you guys the basics of building a level, and we're actually going to do things like creating materials, lighting, um, you know, kind of coming up with the concept idea, placing in some meshes, all that kind of stuff. And what's really cool about this is we're only going to be using the starter content to do this. So what that essentially means is that you guys should all be able to do this as well because you should all have the starter content um, that comes with Unreal Engine 4. So it really should be a pretty good experience. So what I'm going to do is just delete everything out of the scene and I'm going to go ahead and drag this here and over here. And what I'm going to do is drag this wall over. I'll pin this. I want to make sure that that's the right amount of distance for my player character, which that actually looks pretty good. So I'll stick with that. Um, I'm also going to copy and paste the floor. And I'm going to bring that up so that it is a roof right like that alright so now I'm gonna change my lighting quality to preview and click on build lighting the building of lighting will probably take a little bit longer than it normally would because I am recording at the same time but um, yeah I just I wanna show you guys how to actually start constructing some basic game development um, stuff and I figured that the best way to do that was to just use the first person um, project so you guys can kinda see exactly how to do it the way that I would do it so you know we're, we'll actually get into some you know materials and things like that we may even use some of the materials that come with the starter content um, we'll just have to wait and see what happens um, with that but uh, I think I think you guys are gonna like it. I think it's gonna be a pretty good little series to do. So, um, yeah, I I think I think this will be a really really good um, thing to do. So while that's compiling and building the lighting, um, let's go ahead and look at the materials here. And I have these concrete tiles. I want to place this on the floor. Just to start with. Alright, so that definitely needs to be scaled down. Cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into the concrete tiles material here. So let's drag this over here. I put those at five. So we'll put this at say seven, 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 and seven, and five and five, or actually four point five and four point five. Definitely going a little slower than I thought it was going to, that's for sure. And with the software I'm using to record, there is no pause button or anything like that. So I just have to wait it out, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, if you guys like these kinds of tutorials where it's just more like interactive and kind of seeing the process of how I do things, um, it'd be cool if you guys uh, left a comment about that. Let's see here. 
these are still really really big so here's what I'm gonna do though I'm gonna go to unlit because that'll just show me my textures and let's go ahead and up these from 7 to say 21 21 21 and 21 and we'll do these at 16.5 um, and 16.5 and then down here this one here we'll put at 21 and 21 as well and apply I have to wait for that to update and those are some pretty decent sized uh, tiles now at least alright so now let's go ahead and just start building this out now it's just going to be a real real simple um, thing to start out with but uh, I think it's going to end up being pretty dope so let's go ahead and take this off and let's go here into the props and let's see here I'm not liking any stuff so let's go into architecture got some pillars here up the pillar size to 1.5, 1.5, and 1.5 and we'll place one here here They don't need to be perfectly placed, so we can always adjust them later on. I just want to kind of get the uh, basic idea here of where things should be placed. And uh, I think that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and let's create a new folder here. And this will be tutorial project. I'm going to right click, go to material, and this will be, um, let's just do a pillar mat. So I'll go ahead and select that. I'm going to hold three and click once, and that'll give me a constant for my base color. And that base color is going to be white. And then under the roughness, I want to hold down one and click to plug a roughness in for one value. And you'll see there that it uh, has some reflectivity to it now, or not really reflectivity, but it will reflect um, what it's on. And so I'm going to go ahead and select all of these pillars here and drop that material onto them. You can see that they kind of change the white color that is there. Um, so under the starter content, we'll go back to the materials and. see here mm. all right so here's what I've decided I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back to my tutorial project I'm going to duplicate this material and call it wall material and I need to go ahead and decide on a color for the wall. So I'm going to go with kind of an orangish yellow type of color. Apply that, drag that over here. And then I need to decide if I want it on the left or the right. I'm going to want it onto this wall over here. So that will be on that wall there after that's done compiling the shaders. If you type in pipe here, it will bring up these different pipe shapes, and uh, we're going to use some of these. So if I go here, let's see, it's under starter content, and then it's under shapes. You can see there that under shapes, the pipes are there. Um, we also have some other shapes like the trim and stuff like that. Let me see what this actually looks like here real quick. Alright, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, 
that. 90, so that's for a turn. And 90 out. Alright, cool. Alright, cool. So I like that. So let's go ahead and drop this trim into here. And I'll just rotate that 90 degrees. I'll scale it this way. Alright, so the snapping, I need to turn that off real quick. And then I'll turn snapping back on. And I just want to kind of get this lined up so it goes the full length of the room here. that so that's pretty much lined up there it's almost lined up on the other side So we'll just move this that way a little bit. If you uh, hold down the Alt key and you middle mouse click on in one of these arrows, you can move the pivot point so that you can use it on the other end. And I'm just going to line that up there. And I'm going to put this at 37.95. So let's just put this to 38. 38.5. All right, so that's a little bit too much. 38.40, 38.3. 38 38.3 38 is pretty good. So I'll leave it there. Now for the material on that one. Um, I'm actually going to use the white pillar material as, again on that uh, mesh there. Okay, So now if I go back to shapes, um, I'm going to use these pipes. So I'm going to rotate that 90 degrees. And let's see here. I want to make this pipe pretty big, so that looks pretty good actually. I want to kind of get this closer to the wall, but not like completely next to it, so kind of like that. And I'm going to drop this shape in here. 4.25. And 4.25. Rotate this shape this way. We need to get these lined up pretty good. That's pretty dope right there. Copy and paste that. We'll go 
going to the top view here. And I want to place this one at this end. Just like that. Now for these three objects, I'm actually going to use the brushed nickel material, like this. And now we see our preview, we need some lighting. So we'll go into the props. And let's see here. Let me take a look at this shelf here. Um, no, I don't like the look of that one. Um, so this window frame here, I'm actually going to be using this as ceiling lights. So we'll drag this up. To the ceiling. So, kind of like this. Put one here. One there. One there. One there, and one there. All right, so that's pretty good there. Um, now what I want to do is just drop a cube up in here. Make it smaller. pop this so that there's just a little bit showing through kinda like that alright I'll then copy and paste these into each one of these like so And these are basically going to be used as fluorescent lights. And I'll show you how to do that here in a minute. Alright, so that's pretty dope there. So let's grab these cubes. Create a new material. And this will be fluorescent. That's not how you spell it. We'll just call it lights, white lights. And all right, so we're going to need a constant. We'll make that be white. We're then going to need a multiply. We'll drop that into the A. We're going to need another multiply, which will be plugged into here. And then this will go into emissive color. And We'll go ahead and up this to say 10. And you'll see here that the effect of that is it has a nice white glow around it. So we'll hit apply. And then we want to apply this to all of those things there. So now, whoops, if I click on the camera, you can see, actually if I just hit play, you can see they have a nice glow effect. Okay? So now what I want to do is I want to actually drop some point lights into the scene. So I'm going to go over here. So 
So I'll go to lit. And I basically just want to work on the source length and radius here. So kind of like this. And then I'm going to pop that up into the ceiling a little bit more. Like that. Alright, so that looks pretty cool. I'm then going to take that simply move that this one down over to here copy it again bring that here bring that one there and that looks pretty good so now if I click on this character again you can see we're starting to get some lighting going on in our scene. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Still very dark, but that's okay. Um, the roof is going to need a texture as well, so I will duplicate this uh, pillar material and call it roof material. And we need to select a color for that one as well. I'm going to do that one as a dark, dark gray. Hit apply on that. And then I want to apply that here. So now the only thing that should not have a reflective material in our scene right now is um, the um, lights themselves and this wall over here should not be reflected either. So I'll right click here, go to duplicate that one's this one's going to go on to this wall here and then I'm going to adjust this color to a slight off gray and I'll hit apply alright so that's looking pretty good if I go back to lit um, we're definitely going to need some other things so I'm going to go ahead and take this sphere reflection capture, pop that into here, and we can adjust the brightness of that, see if it does anything, which it doesn't. So we'll adjust this to 450. Take this light, and what else? All right, so now we need to fill it with some basic point lights in the level. So we'll just kind of bring this up. We'll set these at about mm, two thousand. Go to wireframe mode. So I want to have one kind of here, here, and then at the very end as well. Go back to lit mode. Grab these. Move them this way a little bit. Kind of like that. Right, so that's starting to come together now. All right, so now we need to work on these scene reflections a little bit. So I'm going to pop this scene reflection closer to this end. I'll copy and paste it. Moving it here. Copy and paste it again. Move it backwards even more. And then for the final one, move it all the way over here to the back of the room. Okay? So that looks pretty good. You can see it's starting to get there. It's looking a little bit better. 
Um, let's go ahead and go to the post process volume. I'm going to go down to the settings. Under the bloom, I want to adjust the intensity of the bloom up just a hair. And then ambient occlusion. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, global illumination. that on there a little bit. Alright, that's looking pretty good. This floor is looking excellent. So now, it's not done yet obviously, but I'm going to go ahead and build the lighting again. So build lighting only. This will definitely take a little bit of time to do, but it should look pretty good when it's built. Because we've got all the elements in place for it to look fairly decent. Um, and this is kind of how you would start blocking out a level that you would then add more detailed meshes to later on. Um, for you know building any kind of a level or anything like that. This is kind of that same basic process that you would use to do that. And that's why I prefer to do it this way versus, you know, building your individual static meshes in, say, Maya or whatever it might be, and then kind of just hoping that it looks good at the end, even though you haven't, you know, really had a, a direction to take the levels yet. Um, I feel like that's kind of what this method of. Um, gives you room for is to actually, you know, apply it and bring it into something that's going to, you know, be a be an actual level versus just kind of throwing a bunch of random meshes in. You're, you're kind of just at this point blocking it out and kind of saying like, okay, this is the direction that I want to take the level. Um, and, you know, once you kind of have the direction set then you can build your more detailed meshes and kind of build from there and out and I feel like that uh, tends to work better it does for me anyway um, for wh whatever it is you're trying to do whatever kind of level you're trying to build um, but you know that's all subject to you know personal preference really um, this is just kind of more the way that I like to do it for myself I find that doing it this way works a whole lot better than, you know, trying to do it any other way. And what I've done by leaving this extra space over here is I've allowed it to where I can say, you know, take out this part of the wall right here and then go into the next room or whatever it is that I'm trying to do um, from that. And I find that that, you know, helps me to kind of work better in that way. So that's why that's the why I chose to do it this way. But again, it's just kind of a blocking out, doing some basic materials, kind of getting an idea, and then you build your meshes later on in, you know, whatever 3D software that you're using. Um, and then, you know, fairly quickly though, you get something that looks, you know, pretty halfway decent kind of like this. Um, where you actually have ref wall reflections and you know all that kind of stuff which it all needs to be adjusted and tweaked so that you can get it to look more the way that you're wanting it to but like this floor looks really really good um, you know and you, you could do all kinds of different stuff uh, the lights are definitely a little intense they probably don't need to be quite that intense um, the reflections on the walls and all that definitely need some work they should not be as reflective as they are, probably. Um, the beams should be more the standout for your reflections. So let's just adjust some of that stuff. So to start with, let's take the white lights. Let's adjust this down to 5, and let's place put this one at 5 here. Yeah, actually, let's keep that at 1. There you go, that looks a little bit more realistic like an actual light would. So we'll get out of that one. 
uh, wall material 2, let's put this at say 0 0.7, so it's not quite as reflective. Close that one. Um, the roof we'll put at 0 0.7 as well. Apply that. Get out of that. Um, this wall over on this side, uh, I'm going to leave it full reflections. And the pillar material, I'm going to leave as well. And what that allows it to do is to kind of balance out the reflections a little bit, which you can already kind of see happening. Um, we need to adjust this light here so it's not like literally making the, the wall super bright because that doesn't make any sense at all. Um, this light here. Let's go ahead and adjust the radius of it, so down to 115. Take this one, 115, because these are just to kind of highlight the fluorescent lights. They don't need to be as big as they are. Um, we have fill lights in the room for that, and so you know there's not really any need to, to do that, to have all these other lights or whatever. So then you got these, and you got tension radius, should be more like 460. Four sixty, kind of like that. And here, once again, for 60. And we'll drag that this way a little bit. Now these reflection captures, um, we need to put the brightness back to 1 on all of these, I feel. And it will help brighten that scene, the scene up a little bit. Um, and I'm, you can see it over there, especially on anything that's reflective, it'll, uh, it'll look a little bit better. Um, obviously, you know, this is just basic geometry, so, um, you know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense for, say, so, for instance, the, all of these here, these all have light bleeding out of them on the top, you can see it here, so we'll just move that down a little bit more. What does that even say on it? View something. Um, yeah, so that's starting to look a little bit better. Let me take a look at the actual stock materials again, see if there's anything else that I want to use. Um, So let's try something a little bit different on these pipes. Let's try this um, steel on them instead. Be a little bit darker, but that's okay. Make that a little bit more straight up like that. And then I'm also going to copy that and rotate that 180 degrees. I'm going to pop that up into the ceiling as well but I'm going to place that on this side over here and we'll bring it down a little bit more so kind of more like this to kind of give the room a little bit more character when you're first entering into it um, I'm not sure I'm mad about this wall so let's try placing glass on it like an outdoor glass kind of a thing. Um,
What does this panel look like? So we'll go ahead and build that lighting again. So, and basically that's all I'm going to do for right now in this tutorial. And then you guys can take this, kind of run with it, see what you come up with. But this is a good way to kind of get a very basic level going um, that you can then add to later on and kind of expound upon this as a starting base, um, you know, and, and kind of work your way into whatever it is you're going to try to do. Um, but th I feel like this is a good starting point for any kind of a game is to kind of block out basic geometry and then you can go back in and refill that with um, you know the geometry that you want to have in there and so what I'm gonna do is after this is this lighting is being done being built I'm gonna load up what because I, <laughs> I did this originally and then I built a higher poly model um, version with meshes and all that that I think you, that I want to show you guys to kind of see like what is possible with it I guess um, but this is just to kind of get that blocking out initial phase like I talked about um, and then from there you would then import your meshes import your textures place them ac accordingly to how you have everything kind of laid out and then you can build from that point on um, into something more advanced and that's that's what I'll show you guys next um, like I said, once the lighting's done being built, I'll show you what you know you would actually accomplish from doing something like this versus you know just having all these random meshes that you've placed together um, in a sense. So you can see the lighting is almost built here. Come on, it's only got 3% left to go. So it's being it's built now, it's just encoding some textures real quick, and then I'll hit play, and then I'll load up the other thing that you guys need to see. Um, so actually I'll go ahead and do that now. Alright, so this lighting is built now being hit play. It is very dark, but it looks, you know, kind of like almost like a horror game should, where you've got lighting in certain areas and stuff, but you don't know what's going to come around the corners. Um, not as bright as I would like it to be. So definitely going to stop to play with that and whatnot, but you would take it from something like this into what I'm going to show you guys next. Um, but while that's doing that, what I'll do is um, let's see here under the lighting the light source all right so let me see here I gotta load this up so I would take you know these room point lights here and I would say let's just put these at a thousand make them a little bigger and then bump these up to say five thousand to really brighten this room up and then I would build that lighting again and uh, you'd have you know something that's a little bit more complete to work with but that's kind of the basics there of that and you know what you're actually looking for in that and then I'm gonna go ahead and load up this last level like I was saying and then we're going to call it quits for this. And you guys kind of have the basics of how I go about building a level. Alright, so this is kind of what I ended up building afterwards. So you can see it's uh, much more detailed with actual textures and models. Um, I've got decals, reflections. I've got everything kind of going on. I got cool actual meshes for the fluorescent lights, you know, all that kind of stuff. 
but uh, it looks looks pretty good, um, and it's a good good way to go if you're trying to do like a sci-fi environment or anything like that. So, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to hit the like button down below and also comment. Let me know what you want to see next, and I'll see you guys next time. It's been your boy. Get off my beard, and I'm out. Peace.